Greetings, art lovers, and thank you for joining me, Judith Curtis, for our first sneak peek at the 2022 Rockport Art Association and Museum Annual Art Auction. Each year, this exciting fundraiser attracts serious collectors from across the country, as well as those just starting an art collection. The auction features works by master Capan artists of the past, such as Old T. Hibbard, Anthony Timi, Emil Gruppi, Antonio Serino, Frederick Mulhop, Harry Vincent, Lester Stevens, Marguerite Pearson, Paul Strizic, Carl Peters, Harriet Randall Loomis, Charles Vickery, Teresa Bernstein, Charles Mavali, and many more. It's like reading a list of who's who in American art. The auction specialises in Cape Ann art, but is not limited to this region and includes works by numerous other prominent historic American artists. The auction, now in its 37th year, began with a bequest by founding member Antonio Serino, who left his artwork to the RAA&M with the stipulation that the art be auctioned to help support the organisation. The auction quickly evolved to include other historic Cape Ann artists and has been the RAA&M's major annual fundraising event ever since. First up, let's take a look at Winter Stream by Emil Gruppi. This is a 25 by 30 oil on canvas. This subject matter, gnarly old trees, snow and an almost frozen river, was one of Groupie's favourite genres. Look closely at this painting and you will see the myriad tones he gets into his snowbanks, and each tree has its own character. Groupie often wintered in Vermont to paint outdoors so he could catch the natural light. Next we have the ever-popular Paul Strizic. Not only was he a fine painter, he was a consummate designer. This painting, called Rockport Lane, is a 20 by 24 oil on canvas. This is classic Strizic. As a plein air painter, he captures the light and shadow of his scene with beautifully handled brushwork. His ingenious placement of the lightest note leads the eye from the bright white of the bow window on the left, then to the highlighted fence. Three light brush strokes take us across the dirt road to the highlight on the grass. The red house stops us from going out of the picture. Our eyes follow the sunlit blocks on the dock and thence to the three sailboats in the distance. The white note of the larger boat's hull brings us back to the focal point. The distinctive sharp edge of the prow directs us to the bow window and so we begin again, masterly. William Lester Stevens, Ipswich River, a 25 by 30 oil on canvas. One of his best, I think. Lester Stevens is as well known for his bluster as for his extensive repertoire produced over a long and successful career. He was the first Rockport artist to be born and raised in the town. Prior to 1888, the painters working in Rockport were incomers. Perhaps being the only local gave Stevens the bravado and swagger so obvious in his character and in his work. He uses the trusty S-curve for the, his line of design and the strong notes he gets in the thawing ice reflect the local colour around it. Anthony Teamy. Teamy travelled farther than most to reach Rockport. He was born in Rotterdam, Holland and he trained in his homeland and later travelled through Germany and Italy before coming to the United States in the early part of the 20th century. His oil paintings depict his favourite subject, marine themes, sun-dappled architecture and rainy streets. He was nicknamed the Puddle Painter because of his predilection for painting street scenes both during and after rainstorms. He was popular as both a painter and a teacher, inspiring an up-and-coming generation to adopt his high-key palette to get the true effect of nature when painting outdoors. Autumn Scene is a 20 by 24 oil on canvas. It's a joyous painting with the upbeat subject of sunlight and shadow, majestic trees lining the street and not a car in sight. 
These are the days when life was slower and not complicated by the influx of technology that now dictate our every move. The same could be said for Antonio Serino's Road to the Sea rock port. This is a 24 by 30 oil on canvas. This genre is timeless. I think if we were on it, we would perhaps like to live in those halcyon days of the early Rockport art colony, when entertainment was a good book, or possibly the annual artist ball. Serino summered in Rockport annually, while teaching at the Rhode Island School of Design for the rest of the year. His colourful canvases, such as this street scene, create an affectionate portrait of his adopted home. From the New England architecture and quiet streets, to the people who lived in Rockport and its environs. And that's it for this week, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the sneak peek at the Rockport Art Association and Museum's annual auction. Uh, and I hope you'll join me, Judith Curtis, next week for a look at a few more paintings. Thanks for joining me. Have a good week.